Right here now in front of me, I have the latest version of Luminar Neo. This is the pre-release media copy, the one after the tech demo. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the new features and tools so that you can see them firsthand, up close and personal. Straight off, let's choose this image here and then go into the edit tab. We're going to see some real differences on the right hand side. Um, before in the tech demo, we just had three tools. We now have all of these essential tools, all of the creative tools, which you can see are available in Luminar AI. You now have them inside Luminar Neo, plus some of the new tools as well, like Relight AI, for instance. And up here, you have this develop tool, which we're going to go into in just a minute. This is great news for anyone that's about to jump into Skylum software because you're having all of the best tools from Luminar AI migrated over into Luminar Neo. Let's jump straight into one of the new tools, which is the develop tool up at the top here. And this is going to be very similar or familiar to people that have used Lightroom. So light is now under here and you've got lots of other different things like blacks and whites, curves, color, sharpness, and more. So you can make those changes now in this one develop tab, which is really cool. And you can start making some global changes to the image. Like if I wanted to bring the shadows down and just separate the subject more from the background, I could do that. And I could bring the highlights up and create more window light which is a really nice touch. And you can see the before here and then the after. You can check out the curves area here, which you can do some things with, which is a really powerful tool. You can go into sharpness. Now this is more of a general sharpness where you can just push this up and it sharpens the whole image. They've actually kept the other sharpness feature in the tools as well. So if you want to change things like the small details, the medium or the large details, you can still do that separately, which is really nice. And of course they have the color selections here, which you can change overall temperature. If you want to make it warmer or if you want to make it cooler, you can do that, whichever look you're going for. And then you can change the tint, saturation and vibrance to add in more color if you like. So this is a really nice touch and I think this is a great kind of addition to the essentials tab and it's nice to have everything in one place. In the previous copy of Luminar Neo which was sent over, this is the tech demo, we were actually previewing one of the tools which was Relight AI. Now this is going to be a brilliant tool and I want to show you exactly how it works because some people are a little bit confused and I want to completely demystify the confusion so that you can see how great this tool is. Let's go into the edit tab and we're going to find that the Relight tool sits right under the AI tools inside this edit section right here. So if we just scroll up, we can see that creative, we've got Relight AI right here. So let's open this up. Now let's see how this works. So it says brightness near, brightness far and depth. Brightness near does what it says actually. Brightness near is gonna control the brightness near in the image. So if I push this up, take a look at the front of the image, you can see how I'm lighting up that section at the front when I do that which is really cool. So that's great. What this means is you can light separate parts of the image independently, which means that I can have a brighter background or a darker background and a brighter foreground or a darker foreground separately, or we can have them even so that they remain the same. But what happens if I don't just want this section here brightened and I want to actually have more of the front of the image brightened instead? Well, here comes the depth control. This is so cool. What I can do here is I can bring the depth down and you can see how this shadow is actually going across the image and it's brightening up the image further into the background. This is brilliant. So Skylum use a 3D depth map to get this. It's the kind of technology behind it or the engine which gives you this brilliant kind of result. So let's say I want that there. How about the back of the image? I actually want to make the back of the image brighter as well. So if I push that up, you can see I'm actually brightening the back of the image now as well. Maybe I don't want the back of the image bright and I've decided I want it dark. All I need to do is bring the slider down and I can darken that section instead. Then you can use the depth slider to blend or balance the difference of both of them. So if I bring this down, I'm kind of bringing the dark forward. If I bring this up, I'm bringing the light backwards. You can see how this is going to have some really creative effects, especially in landscapes. And this is how the tool works. It's really simple when you see the actual process happening. So I think this is going to be great, but I want to show you how this works in portraits and other circumstances to get some really amazing results. 
Now, if we use the Relight tool here, I'm gonna show you how you can get creative with this now and not just light your foreground and background, but you can also add some toning and color into it as well. So if we go into the Relight tab again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brighten up the near section so that the subject is brighter. And you'll see that now she is brighter in the foreground and that brings the viewer's attention straight on to the subject. Then if I want to, I can darken the background. So let's darken that. So now we've got a brighter subject and a darker background. We're creating that kind of separation between the two. And then if I want to, I can change the depth so I can make this go further back or I can bring it closer up, depending on what choice I'm going for. So I'm gonna put it about there and I'm gonna brighten the foreground a little bit more as well. Then if we have a look now at the before and after, the before, this is the after. I've actually decided I'm gonna bring that down slightly to about there. Now, if we go into advanced settings, this is where we can start color toning the image as well, still inside the Relight AI tool and get some beautiful results. How do we do that? Well, we've got a de-halo first. So if we get a halo around the subject, you can actually get rid of that nice and easy. But the actual areas we're gonna look at is warmth near and warmth far. So warmth near is gonna give me some warmth or some kind of orange tones to the near section of the image. And you can see that this is give this beautiful street light kind of vibe to the subject here. And it's just lit her up and give her this nice golden glow. Now at warmth far, I can decide to actually make the back of the image golden as well. And then we've got this like vintage street photography look, or I can actually go and then go for like a duo tone or a separate tone where we actually make the back of the image, this beautiful kind of blue color and then we just push up here the golden color in the subject. And now we've got this absolutely sumptuous separation between both subject, which is nice and golden, and background, which has got this cold blue tone. So this is how you can start using the Relight AI tool to do more than just Relight, but also get in there and get creative as well. Okay guys, so now stick with me on this one because I'm gonna show you how we can use the Relight AI tool along with other tools inside Luminar Neo to get a really creative and awesome look with this image right here. So first off, let's start with the develop tab, which is one of the new tools inside Luminar Neo. And let's actually make just a few quick changes. So I can see that this image is quite flat. So we wanna add more contrast. Let's do that by clicking on the curves. Let's grab the curves adjustment here and create an S curve. This is a way of creating more contrast in your image. So darker shadows, and lighter highlights. Now let's crush the blacks a little bit here. So I'm gonna bring up the bottom here of my curve adjustment and then just bring this down. And we've got this crushed blacks look here as well. Now I've made these changes, I'm gonna go straight now and add some sharpness. This is gonna be overall sharpness. So I'm just gonna push this up here, sharpen the image, and then we've got overall sharpness applied. Now I'm gonna jump out of the develop tab and we're gonna go straight into Relight AI. So we've made some overall changes. As you can see, here's the before and here's the after. We've added more contrast and also kind of more depth to the image. Now let's go into Relight AI. And I wanna brighten up the near side of this so that the subject is brighter. And you can see that she is now brighter in the image. I actually want to make the Brightness far darker, so I want to darken down this area so I can bring down brightness far, which I really like. And now I can choose the depth or how to balance the effect between the two. So I can either choose to lighten up further or darken down towards the background. So I'm gonna go for about here. I think that's kind of a nice balance. And now I'm gonna go into the advanced settings. We're gonna add a little bit of warmth into the subject, which is in the near side of the image. And then we're going to stick with this blue tone here and bring that down to add in more blue into the background of the image. So we've already made quite a substantial change. As you can see, here's the before. And here is the after. One thing that you can combine with Relight AI and get really nice results is portrait bokeh AI and really go into the portrait tab in general. So clicking on this, I wanna separate the background from the subject. So I'm gonna go ahead and create more blur. And then this is going to create more blur here, as you can see, and it's just all of everything is just on the subject. 
Now I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and go onto the face. I'm going to lighten up the face here. As you can see, this is adding more light to the face, which makes it like the light is actually adding color and kind of saturation to the face, which is a nice look. With the eyes, I'm going to brighten those up because we've got catch lights in the eyes, as you can see here, and we're just going to enhance them by going onto Eye Enhancer. You can see this has really pushed up the catch lights here and it's lightened up her pupils a little bit as well and the iris and the eyes. Now that we've done that, we're going to jump out of this and then we're going to go into skin. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to smoothen up the skin a little bit in the image and it's just going to make her skin look smoother and just give it more of a kind of smooth look as you can see right there. This image is now looking absolutely spot on. Now let's go into vignette to add more kind of attention to this part of the subject. So I'm going to drag this down and create this nice dark vignette around the edge, as you can see here, and then really push in some attention to the subject's face with the light on it. Now let's take a look at the before and the after, and you're going to see how much of a difference we've made in about two or three minutes with these tools. This is the before, and then this is the after. How good does that look? So you can see that Luminar Near, when combining things like the AI tools with some of the essential tab tools, like the new develop tool, you can get some really absolutely stunning results achieved by using these tools together. Finally, let's take a look at another tool, which is a new one inside Luminar Neo. Now we're gonna be having a lot more tools introduced into the final version, which gets released, like Mask AI, Luminar Share, and plenty of others. If you want to actually check out those, you can do. There's a video showing up at the top right now, and this goes into some of the new features you can expect in the finished copy. But let's take a look at power lines removal. To do that, we just need to scroll on up to the Essential tab. Here we'll find the Erase. Let's go on that, and then we've got Objects Removal. Let's go for Remove Power Lines. Now hopefully this is going to remove the power lines because there is a lot of them in this image. So this is really pushing and testing this tool and its capability. Wow, that's got rid of all of the power lines in the image. That is fantastic. That would have taught me so much time to remove those manually if I was to do that. Now it did take about 10 seconds, but if I was to do this real life, it would have took me probably about 15 minutes to half an hour depending on how tricky it was to do. So this is really going to be a beneficial tool for people which are going to be facing areas with power lines in. And I can see this being a big benefit for a lot of photographers. Now, currently, the best deal we've had so far on Luminar Neo is available to actually get. This software is available for about £50, a one-off payment, and then you also get a complete editing course which is specific to Luminar Neo so if you want to learn how to use the software this editing course comes completely free so there's no extra payments just £50 get the editing course and get the software which is really really impressive also you've got another deal where you can jump in and get two template packs which is 20 templates in total with Luminar Neo for around about the same price so those two options are in the video description if you're interested in this software then you can head down there and get those deals especially for yourself guys i hope you've enjoyed the video today and i hope that you've really gained some value from this interested in this software Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, I hope you have a great one and I hope to see you in the next Luminar Neo video.